Hey, what's up you guys? I wanna introduce you to the brand new battery in the Jackery lineup, and this is not just your regular Jackery battery. I know this one looks a lot like the Jackery 3000 Pro that they just finished releasing, which was unbelievably epic. Had wheels on the back, so does this one. Has a little handle that goes up, just like this one. But there's something hugely different about this battery that no other Jackery battery has. <laughs> Give me one second. Boom! Hoo you got the ability to expand this battery not only one time, but you can do five more extension packs. Main battery at the bottom, one extension on the top. Then when you need more power, you add one more. Then you got two extensions, and then you can add another one, and then another one, and then another one. Could you imagine this with five extra expansion packs attached to it? Oh, and it gets bigger than that. This battery is 2,042.8 watt hours. And then you add one extension pack that brings it up to 4,085.6 watt hours. And then you add another one and another one and another one. Pretty soon you're at 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, and it keeps going. You can double up these things together, guys. You wait, we're gonna dive in deep into this one. This is a really long video because this battery definitely deserves a little bit of love. This is the Explorer 2000 Plus. This is the Jackery 2000 Plus. Yes, they have a 2000 series battery already, but that's the 2000 Pro. This is the Pro version, right there. Plus, Pro. This one has a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. This one has a 2200 watt pure sine wave inverter. This one's expandable. This one is not. Here is a chart showing you the differences between the 2000 Pro and the 2000 Plus. And if you take a look at both columns, there's a lot of things that are hugely different between the two. The Plus has a bigger inverter allowing you to pull out 3000 watts on the pure sine wave inverter. And also, if you look at the life cycle of the battery, it is doubled. It's doubled because the new battery, the 2000 Plus, has brand new LifePo 4 batteries, lithium iron phosphate. Because of that, it's increased efficiency and also increasing the life of the battery. And that is what makes this thing the absolute powerhouse of a battery. In a van, we've talked about this so much on how when you get started living in a van or doing anything off grid at a cabin, whatever you're doing, your power needs always start off small. But as time moves forward, it's just natural to keep adding more powered luxuries. You may have a 12 volt fridge now, maybe a little while later, you add a 12 volt freezer because you realize you're gonna need it. But as you slowly continually upgrade things, some of your older battery systems will need to be upgraded as time moves forward. That's where a system like this brand new Explorer 2000 Plus comes in because you can start with just the battery. And then when you feel like your power needs are increasing, you add to it. And then you can add another one and another one. With all the expansion, you can go up to five packs. That goes from two kilowatt hours to 12 kilowatt hours. Then you can double that up and do 6,000 watts on the output and 24 kilowatt hours. Enough juice to be able to power your off-grid cabin for two entire weeks. Who knows, depending on your power consumption, obviously, if you're sucking, if you're welding, you can weld on this thing. <laughs> We're gonna do that today, don't you worry. When I read that you can run a welder on this, I'm like, well, I got a welder at the shop. So today I wanna show you guys how a system like this is really gonna help me and my scenario here at the shop on days when we hit power outages. We've done that, been in the middle of a project, boom, power goes out. We have a little bit of a sensitive grid around the shop here. And uh, that's where a scenario like this is gonna come in. I only have one extension pack right now. I would love to do all five of them, pretty much maxing this bad boy out in the one stack option. We'll talk about the two stack option <laughs> a little bit later on. 
But yeah, for the shop space here, I would really love to have an entire off-grid system that could continually keep my shop running until the power comes back on, which is an absolutely beautiful thing because we all hit emergencies sometimes and nobody wants to lose all that food that's in their freezer and their fridge upstairs. And with having this thing have the ability of expanding itself, you could run your home off this. Your kids could still be playing video games. You could run your Starlink so your home could have internet. You could run your fridge, your stove, your cooktops, your, your microwave ovens, everything with a full stack of these, which is incredibly amazing. So yeah, where I see this really shining in the van life area is for somebody who wants a, uh, a solid power system for the vehicle that they don't have to stress or worry about. They plug, they play, they go. That's where I think this is incredible. But as we all know, you're gonna buy new things in the van. You're gonna buy roof vents. You're gonna buy extra fridges, freezers. Something's gonna pull a wild amount of power in your vehicle and you're gonna wanna add to this. Where with the other Jackery batteries, you couldn't add to it, meaning it wasn't expandable. This is wild. Let's dive into some of the technical stuff on this battery. I'm not gonna nerd out on all the numbers and real big technical details. I'm gonna give you guys what I think you need to know if this battery is a good fit for you or not. I'm more of like a real world, real use kind of guy. So in this video, we're gonna run as much stuff as I can inside of my shop. We have, uh, we have a toaster oven over there. We've got a uh, induction cooktop, an air fryer, a bunch of things that you would need to power in your home. We got a little fridge, a little freezer. So we're gonna show you guys everything in an off-grid home style situation with some home style appliances. Plus, if you have a workshop like I do here, we're gonna show you guys, can you run power tools, welders, and all those other things on one of these systems. Right out the gate, let me tell you about the biggest upgrade they've made. Inside of here is now lithium iron phosphate batteries. Previously, Jackery was using lithium ion. Lithium iron phosphate is what everybody has been asking for. It's just a better lithium cell. It's got better charging cycles and it'll last you a lot longer. So the lithium iron phosphate battery in here has a 4,000 charge cycle life before the battery goes down to 70%. If we can charge this thing, 4,000 times. So what a charge cycle is, is if this thing was full and you drained it in, in use and then you filled it back up, you could do that 4,000 times before this battery has 70% of its life left in it. 70% <laughs> after 4,000 charges. And you're like, 4,000 doesn't seem like that much. Okay, let's divide this by doing that once per day. That's a lot of power to drain once per day. 4,000 divided by 365 is 10.9 years of use before this battery has 70% of its life left in it. That's insane. So that's not a real use. You're not gonna drain it. Maybe you are, but you're not gonna drain it every day. So if you think about it, if you drained it and charged it every other day, you got 20 years of use. That's where in the past, I had talked about, you know, like over those time and years, your battery needs are gonna increase. That's where this is an ultimate addition because you can buy your base battery and then add to it as you need. Say two years later, you just need more power. You add yourself another block on the top. Simple as that. And you add another one. And it, Sorry, I've been saying add another one. I just think doing this has been just such a cool addition for them and I, and I think, I think a lot of you guys are really gonna enjoy the expandability of these batteries. This has a BMS system, which is a battery monitor system. And it does exactly what it says. It monitors the battery. It's continually running tests every freaking millisecond to make sure everything is functioning right and functioning safe. And this thing has 62 points of protection on that battery monitor system. So you can run these in your vehicles safe without worrying about anything. And this battery has a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. 3000 watts is a huge, have you ever seen a 3000 watt inverter that you buy for your van when you do a DIY build system? The inverter is about the same size as that and about that thick, they're huge. And I don't know if you guys understand what it takes to install a 3000 watt inverter in your vehicle when instead of doing an all-in-one system like this, 
when you actually buy a DIY system where you're buying the lithium batteries, buying the inverter, buying the charge controller and all that other stuff, how big the wires need to be to run a system with an inverter that big, it's crazy. <laughs> it's uh, it's overwhelming, let me tell you that. The, the, the amount of money you'd have to spend on battery cables and terminals alone is wild to run a 3000 watt inverter. But inside of here is everything you need, nice and safe, compact in one little box, wired right, fused right, protected right, and all you gotta do is plug it in once to charge it from the wall, bada boom, charges the battery two hours off the grid. Or you can buy solar panels for these, we'll show you guys that in a little bit. You could run six 200 watt Solar Saga solar panels on this, Jackery's solar panels. You could run, pretty much create a solar field. If you run all six of those panels, you could charge this bad boy in two hours too. Off the sunshine, no cost solar production. Right here is one of the Jackery solar panels. They come in a nice case in here. This is the Solar Saga 200, and you can connect one of these, two of these, or six of these to this setup. It's awesome, you take the case off of here. Jackery uses IBC advanced solar technology, allowing this thing to just charge faster and be way more efficient than the average standard solar panel. So let's take a look at this thing. Just say you buy this for your van, your off-grid cabin, or for some backup power at home, and you just buy this standalone unit alone. This is where the brains to everything are. On the front here, it's got an amazing, easy to read screen display, shows you how much power is coming in if you're charging, what's the state of charge left on your battery, and how much wattage is leaving the system currently right now. And when it's pulling a draw, it'll tell you how many hours your, your battery has left before it needs to be charged again. But this thing has everything. On the front here, at the touch of a button, you now turn on all of your USBs. So it's got an 18 watt max, two USB A's, and a USB C for a 100 watt max. And it's great because if you're an Apple person or anybody who just charges drones or anything like that, it's got a 100 watt max output on here and uh, awesome for running laptops and everything else. And when you're done with this, you push the power button, it's out. And over here, 3000 watts on the inverter at a touch of a button. You push the button, you hear it for a second, the inverter will kick on, there you go. Now you can plug in TVs, <laughs> blenders, whatever you want, a welder, which we'll do that today. Uh, pretty simple, easy to use. But what happens is when this becomes not enough power for you, that's where this battery, you can put it on top, you can put it beside it. You flip the back down here, it says A and B. And down there is pretty clear, it says A. You grab the cable, that's the B side. That's the A side. A to A, now B to B. So when you're running a second pack, you go A to B. When you run a third pack, it's A to B. Run a fourth pack, A to B. <laughs> run a fifth pack, A to B. Pretty impressive, actually. I can't wait to get more of these. I'll probably do that when I get back. Um, it'd be awesome to have the full five stack. Whoo! Look how impressive that would look. Um, super stoked on that. But the simplicity of adding more power just became so, so attainable. And in a portable battery scenario, prior to doing this, if you had a Jackery battery, there was no expansion. The, the option at that point is to buy two of the bottom batteries. <laughs> well, hold on. This is where I told you earlier, that you can double stack these. So you can link two bottoms together. So you can buy two Jackery Explorer 2000 pluses on the bottom, and there's a link system that links them together. Then you can run two stacks. And then you got two monster stacks here, and you take the bottom batteries, plug them in together. So if you're talking about running an off-grid cabin with everything you need, one stack it. If one stack ain't enough, boom, double stack it. Can you imagine how impressive this would look with two 
pull stacks. Running two stacks allows you to pull up to 6,000 watts out of this thing, which means you could run a high output welder up to 5,800 watts. I ran a welder off the one battery today and it ran around 3,000 watts and it did great. That's coming up in this video. I also left some information on the screen. If you want to screenshot it here, it shows you how to wire up the double stacks and some information about the plugs on the front. So if you're concerned about weight inside of your vehicle and you're crunching numbers on how much weight capacity you have, this one here is 61 pounds. And if you're adding an additional battery pack, that's an additional 42 pounds. And obviously if you add a second one, that's another 42 and then another 42. So if you're crunching numbers, um, these things are actually not too bad for what's contained in it. Thinking that if you didn't buy an all-in-one unit, you would have to have the batteries, the cables, the fuse blocks, the inverters, all the charge controllers, all that other stuff that needs to go into something, making these things just, I find them super compact. With the temperature ranges that you're allowed to charge and discharge these things, kind of makes them just about an all weather battery. You can charge it at zero degrees Celsius and discharge it up to minus 10. <laughs> That's pretty cold if you ask me. Okay, let's get into the fun stuff and start running a bunch of things on this battery. Air fryer, induction cooktop, what else we got? It's got no power, no lights on, it's as simple as this my friends, power on, we got power baby, right there we got power, good to go. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these open actually so the compressor turns on, because if I leave them shut, they're not gonna turn on. So we're gonna leave those open. There we go. That compressor on the fridge just turned on. It had like a 350 watt spike at the beginning. Now it's only pulling 75 watts. Let's see if this gets another spike. I don't think the freezer's kicked in yet. Anyway, instead of leaving them open, let's just do this real world use. Because ideally in the off-grid situation, once they're shut, they should only kick on every once in a while. So right now we're running a fridge and a freezer. So Jackery has a new app. So that's my other Jackery battery, which is way over there, so it's not connecting. But here we are, the Explore 2000 Plus. Let's open this up. It'll load everything and give me an exact readout of what's going down right now. My batteries are at 100% in there and it's pulling 61 watts right now. And if you see the AC light is on, so if I wanna shut off this induction and anything plugged into the AC, I push this and that's it. Now my fridges have been shut off, all this power has been shut off, it shuts this off. So if I wanna turn this on, I can do it from the app. Watch the light over there. Bada boom. And if I have anything plugged into my, here's everything turning on. If I wanna turn on these from the app, it's that button right there. You just do it right here. Boom. Now all your USBs are powered on or powered off. So we're gonna use the app here to monitor all the wattage and stuff going out. Induction's running, it's at 700 watts. This thing is super warm. So that should, that light's on. Toaster oven's on. Induction cooktop is on. Everything's plugged into here. Now let's see if running the induction at the same time is gonna push this over the limit. 390 on look at that that's crazy it's running it it has a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter and it's running 3741 watts <laughs> nobody's cooking like that nobody's using an induction a toaster oven and an air fryer all at the same time oh it just triggered it that was it it only it didn't run it for that long that was oddly fun so let's just Let's keep this test real. You could run a toaster oven, which is running at the hottest heat possible, and you could run this at three quarter of the maximum temperature off of this thing and still keep it below 3000 watts, which is exactly what it is rated for. We were pushing it high just to see how much it could go. No problems whatsoever. Boom, you're off there and you're cooking. And usually in an off-grid situation or a van life situation, yeah, you're already starting to be power conscious. So you're not running all, all, all these high items at once. Maybe a fridge freezer and then making some French fries or some, or some wings or something like that in here during that situation. 
You're not running all of this stuff all at once. In an off-grid cooking situation, this battery setup has you guys on absolute lockdown for anything you need, that is for sure. And then running the additional packs, you could run off-grid in a monster power outage situation for probably a couple of weeks before you needed to recharge your entire system. All right, let's look at this in the shop scenario. We've got a jigsaw, a drill, a skill saw, and let's add some lights to this. Boom, boom. Now we have a fully lit up workbench area anywhere in the shop. So our lights are pulling 93 watts. Assembly tools we can run here at the same time. Let's see what each of these are pulling individually. Back to 93, Jigsaw. Back to the light, Skill Saw. For safety reasons, we're just gonna go with two of these. The biggest test I've ever done on a Jackery battery. Oh, let's go. All right, we're just gonna weld those two pieces together. We're not here to judge my welding skills. We're just here to judge if that thing really does work on that. So on idle, that thing's 15 watts. Go. Okay, imagine this. You want to build a tiny home way out in the woods where there's no electricity. You buy a battery system like this, you throw the solar panels out, you power the battery off the sunshine, plug all your tools in, and build a tiny home off the grid. Look at that, baby. Hey, yo, let's go. And then when you're all done building the tiny home, this exact system ends up becoming the power system inside of your tiny home kind of making a dual use. And imagine that, you break something on your four wheel drive vehicle out there, you need to weld it, no big deal. Just plug your welder right into it. Are you serious? Like, I ran two lines of welds on there and this thing barely dropped. Are you serious? How awesome is that? That would make my shop fully functional on a complete power outage for an entire week over here, we could still weld and make things apocalypse. <laughs> Let's go. We're not gonna spend too much time talking about the solar part of this because there's lots of videos on YouTube about the Solar Saga 200 watt solar panels. They have new IBC solar technology making them just more efficient. They fold out, simple plug and play, little angles on the back so you can adjust it so it points directly at the sun at the right angle that you want. You plug it in, done. On here, you can either run two panels, four panels. I can't show you the six because I only have four myself, but that's it. Fold them up, bada boom, you're done. Don't ask me how this always happens. You get me in my shop and guaranteed I'm gonna cut myself. <laughs> I'm surprised I got all my fingers, like every time. And it's never like a bad cut, it's just like a little scrape. Anyway, when you pick this thing up, you get two power cables with it as well. This one's for the carport on your dashboard. And when you're charging this thing while you're driving, which I highly suggest to always plug this in, even if you're doing a 15, 20 minute drive, you might as well sneak some of that alternator power back. So you can charge this thing from empty to full in 25 hours on your car charger. So if you think of it, if you're cruising around two, three hours a day, sooner or later, you're gonna keep this thing topped up just from driving alone, especially if you're out there doing some, doing some bigger travel trips. And it also comes with a universal power cable. This was a big change for Jackery in the past because they used to have a proprietary power block thing, which if you lost it, you're screwed. These ones you can buy at pretty much any store. You might even be able to buy them at hardware stores. I know a good place to go find these is a music store. These are what they would use on like a pro audio speaker. So if you're ever in a town, hit the music store. If you lose one, you'll find one of these for probably around uh, 20 bucks. Pretty damn awesome. Anyway, to wrap this video up, well, I think the video spoke for itself. This is one beast of a system and the ability to expand it. I got nothing more to say. Nothing more. Links are below. Bye.
Nothing is damn cool. 